Right guys, we are here, Lift Dills and Thrills at Newsham Screen Park for the preview night. Not open to the general public yet. There's a few little celebrities dotting around. Why the hell are we here? I don't know, but we've been invited. We'll accept it all the same. I'm with Lauren. I'm with Jake. It's time to let's get <laughs> Right, so we've got a little bar area over there. We've got a stage area at the top with live feeds of some inside of the mazes, which is pretty sweet. And over there, we've got food, food, and lots of food. We've been given these little white tokens. Wherever, where are the white tokens? Where are they gone? Oh, David Blaine. We got food tokens, and then we got some drink tokens as well. So thank you very much. And the maze is open at half seven. Cheers. Cheers, lady. So there's the orphanage maze that we can see, but that's the only one that I can see at the moment. So, there's three mazes, there's two for 16 plus, I believe, two mazes for 16 plus, two mazes for 16, 14, 14 plus, and then one for 18, and one for 18 plus. Let's see some boobies! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some live entertainment. Looking at the CCTV, I don't think they put them in the best themed places, but uh, I'm more interested about walking around an old abandoned asylum. Do you believe in ghosts? Because this place has investigated a lot for ghosts and paranormal activity. I'm out. <laughs> Lauren, do you see dead people? Look at that face, of course she does. She's taking her time. I've seen one right now. You've seen one right now? I'm a dead man walking. <laughs> All right, we've got some hot dogs, we got burgers, we got chicken wings and a little bit in between. We've got some NYC deli food over there pizza and more and here we've got sticky beef and rice tempura prawns <laughs> oh tasty tasty we've even got a vegan offering here with mega fauna lots of vegan dishes buffalo wings kebab fries mushroom philly cheese fries there's a nice selection here really nice selection that looks fresh and that looks nice <laughs> right, so Atmosphere just took to the stage and said that they have taken over the asylum. It used to be an orphanage, it used to be an insane asylum, but it was a one month project. That has me a bit dubious because one month to turn a big place like this around, you know, I'm a bit dubious about the type of theming and the kind of experience they've got on there. Excited, but a little dubious. Is dubious, is dubious a real word? The first maze of the evening is Orphanage. Right, so we're out of the Orphanage and that building without actors is creepy as is. A lot of wide open spaces to start with, but creepy corridors, creepy to walk around, a creepy atmosphere. A jump scares were quite, a lot of actors, but the jump scares were quite far away because the rooms were quite big. There's a bit in the corridor at the end where it started narrowing to get more claustrophobic. That bit was good. Room for improvement, but not a bad start. Not, bad. not a bad start. Not bad. I did jump. I was at the front. I did jump once because I was talking to Jake, looking at a mannequin, and then some real one jumped out. <laughs> and I may have soiled myself. I did. But, but it wasn't a bad start. What did you like? What's your favourite bit? The end bit. The end bit. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. So, so without spoiling it too much, you had to stand at a certain place and have your hands behind your back. Yeah. Something happens, and then you come out of your experience. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, you definitely got that atmosphere, story-led thing. So at the start, when you go in, the care caretaker of the orphanage just kind of giving you some spiel. So I imagine that's going to be the same with the other mazes as well. But not too bad to start with. What's next? Illuminati no. or in sanatorium? So Illuminati, you're doing twos, and that's the top one, that's the 18 plus one. In sanatorium is the next one. So the queue to the, the, queue to the left of us is for Illuminati, whereas in sanatorium has got no queue at all. It's creepy in here. Are you ready to get spooky? I am. Okay. Just full of creepy corridors. Oh, you're the creepiest of them all. You scared the shit out of me. Right, and sanatorium was much better than the orphanage. Much, much better than the orphanage. Um, that, it's a lot of smell pods, is all I can really say without spoiling it. But the start of the maze, you have to hold a rope and go around without hoods on. And that was quite immersive because you were very close to where the actors are. You liked it. You liked it. You I liked like that. that. You liked like that one. It. it was good. That was really good. Uh, we're going to have a drink. 
because we've just been told that the last maze, Illuminati, because it only, can only have two people in it at a time, it's an hour wait. So we're gonna have a drink and then go do the last one. Jeez. Our final maze of this evening, Illuminati is on an hour queue. Everyone's going for this one. All the other mazes are dead, yet Illuminati is now on a 45 minute queue. One hour later, I'm getting Stranger Things vibes. Right, so now we're a bit closer. After all this time later, you have to wear a blindfold and a robe in the maze. Just gives you a little rundown of what the experience involves there. Let's go. I've already been through it once, Illuminati, and because you can only do it in twos, I'm going back in it. Thanks, Pete. Right, so I've now done that twice, and yes, it was tame, but it was funny at the same time. Um, they turned the electric shock thing up as well oh, for us as well. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, nice one. <laughs> I was busting a move with the pig just with Jake. Yeah. So, Illuminati was definitely a weird one. Uh, a lot of people will say that's a bit weird. I'd say that's a normal Thursday night in Stoke. Um, <laughs> you can't see yourself what's going on. <laughs> no, it's a little bit scary no. for some people. Right, I'm just going to turn this around, put flash on. So, oh, it's scary. Is it scary? Jesus. To some people, yeah, it'd be a bit, it's more awkward than scary. Normal. Um, non there is no food even though it did say food it said nut based food but there's no food um it, no, it, the maze definitely does contain nuts there is some nudity um you will be touched a lot even though it says the actors will not touch you on the sign um but all in all yeah a freaky weird experience uh what did you think of newsham screen park's initial yeah good yeah good something different yeah, I think the orphanage, it was okay. There's a lot of space there for the maze. Uh, too much space to the point where the scares weren't kind of claustrophobic. Um, the other one, which was this in sanatorium, that was decent. I like that one. It's better than Smell the first. pods, definitely better than the first. And then the last one, it's just for the weird of us. Like, knees like me. Yeah, well, yeah, they've got his kneeling on the floor oh, yeah, and dancing yeah. in front of a Praising bondage Satan. man. But, uh, but yeah, appreciate you watching. <laughs> <laughs> Newsham Screen Park, congratulations on a first opening event. I think there's room for improvement, I really do. But atmosphere, they said there was one month to turn it around and they've smashed it in one month. So uh, yeah, congratulations. Hit the like button, subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.